when you're when you're tense and you're you know panic and you're stressed and you're you know you're all whipped up in a in a frenzy and people will tell you to take a deep breath right um, but uh, I wanted to go into that first deep, deep breath is important but a lot of times we say that deep breath without actually realizing what that means and actually applying it right first of all when it comes to controlling your your mental state I just realized I put that in the title mental state but I don't like that term because there's no there's no exclusive mental state you you have a state you have your your mind in a certain space and your body fo your body following and your body's in a space and your mind follows they're not separable you can't have a calm mental state without having a calm body right and you can't uh, if your body's tense your mind's going to be tense it's it's just going to be a cycle the body follows the mind and the mind follows the body so you can't have one separate independent from from the other right so when you're taking a deep breath to control your state that's that's the whole idea is the breath helps you control that overall state because the breath calms the body which calms the mind and then the mind can relax the body and then the cycle continues right but when we're talking about taking a deep breath, people don't realize when you say take a deep breath, first of all, someone tells you to calm down, right? Usually, it never will make you calm. <laughs> it's not they're telling you to calm down that makes you calm. It's your own decision to take that deep breath. But when someone says take a deep breath, we you see people a lot of times, they go, okay, well, that's not a deep breath, right? <sighs> that's not a deep breath at all. I, I breathed in a lot, but it wasn't a deep breath. So think about that term, deep breath, okay? If I'm breathing up here with the chest, that's not a deep breath, right? My chest doesn't really, my, my rib cage here, my, uh, my chest here, doesn't have a lot of room to expand, right? So a deep breath has gotta be a deep breath. It's gotta come from, from down here, right? So when you breathe in, if you wanna have a calming effect from that breath, it's gotta be a deep breath here, okay? Now, if you've done, if you've done martial arts before, if you've done Qigong before, if you've done yoga, or if you've played a wind instrument, you know that you can do diaphragmic breathing and have your belly expand. So that way, when you breathe in, your belly will expand here and not, your breath's not going to be up high here in the chest, okay? But when you don't have that much experience, you still need the, the ability to take a deep breath and calm down, but that's very difficult, especially when you're used to breathing up here with the chest all the time. Okay, so this is a simple exercise that can help you with that, and we know this works really well because we, we use it when we do, you know, combative training where the adrenaline gets up and we're, you know, we're training in that space because that's that's necessary. If you actually want to learn real self-defense, you've got to be able to train in that crisis space, right? But then you've also got to be able to bring yourself out of that space. And the good thing about that is, is once you learn how to do that in, in like a, you know, in combat or in a, in a realistic kind of combat scenario when you're really stressed out, we know that that ability to bring yourself down is not just going to work for that self-defense um, kind of scenario, but it's going to work for any scenario. Because when you're you're feeling a lot of stress, it's that same thing. You're kicked into that fight or flight response, right? And your brain is not firing on all cylinders, and that like the you know the the frontal part of your brain, the neocortex, and things like that that we need to be creative. They're not firing the same way. They're not going to be. We're not going to be very resourceful. We're only going to be thinking about survival in that state. And the same goes when we're, we're in a state of anxiety or stress. Right? We're not getting uh, the full capacity of our of our mental use. So one thing that helps us bring that out of the space, which I teach for people if they don't have a lot of time to develop this um, diaphragmic thing, uh, breathing is what we call the modulated breath. Okay. So. If you can't, because a lot of people when they start this, they can't get a full breath here with the belly because they're not used to it because this isn't developed, okay? But you don't have time to develop it. You still need to take that deep breath. Here's what you do. It's called a modulated breath, okay? So you basically start with your belly breath the best you can. Even if you can't, you know, breathe deep enough because you're not used to it, you still start that way. So that's the first part of the breath. The diaphragm breath is down here. So if you push your hand on your belly here, and as you breathe in, try to keep your breath low and push your belly out, that's the first part. Now, if you feel that you can't get a full breath because you're not used to it, then you move on to the second part right here, and now go on to the chest breathing like you normally do, and then expand the chest. And then, of course, just take a relaxing breath out. That's kind of like a sigh, okay? So you can try that as you're watching this right now. Module one, breathe in low with the belly. And then module two, try to breathe in even more now with the chest. And now sigh and relax as you breathe out. Okay, and you try a few of those, you'll feel yourself start to relax down and you, you exit out of that fight or flight response and you know you lower yourself out of those um, anxious and stressful states. Okay, try one more time. Hand here in the belly, breathe in. Hand on the chest, breathe in again, up higher. And then breathe out. So instead of having, you know, relying on the first module here being really trained and being able to expand more to drop the lungs down and get a deep breath, Right? You just cheat a little bit, it's a short-term thing, and you rely on these two modules instead. Breathe in, 
breathe in more, and then just relax out. And that'll help, you know, calm your state down. And the mind follows the body, and the body follows the mind. And then you can start to think more, more rationally, more creatively, right, with the higher levels of your mind as you're meant to, because you don't want to be in this survival state all the time, right? It's good for temporary survival, but it's not good for, you know, long-term planning and uh, thinking and feeling and dreaming and communicating and things like that. So I hope that's useful. If it is, please like it and share it with someone that you think might benefit from it.